So he has a number of, number of problems, macrocephaly, epilepsy, cerebral palsy, um, just, and then of course feeding, you know, and just non-verbal, we didn't know he's going to be non-verbal at this stage, he's a baby, he was just crying. So we couldn't, and we, he also was a, we don't know why he can see either, you know, he's a, so we, we didn't know what to really, to do initially, you know, we're struggling. I remember two of us got struck down one day sick, we couldn't mind him. We are dying sick and we had to call a nurse in and take him away from us. But um, we were kind of felt isolated initially, but then people started to come, Jack and Jill got on board with us and then of course, when he became two, got to two, Mary Lacey Crow and the Sacred Heart Centre got involved with his early intervention. At the moment, like he's non-verbal, he's a vision impairment, he's one kidney, he's in a wheelchair for life, he's, um, he's, he's a lot of work, you know, um, and he's peg fed as well, which means we can't feed him through the mouth, it's all through, through a Mikey button here. And that's after changing his diet recently, which has helped him a lot now. So there's less chest infections, less constipation, and he's a healthier boy. So he hasn't been in hospital in a year, which is amazing. So at the moment he's healthy. After the first six years, we take this year anytime, you know what I mean? He's been great and a lot of work, you know, 24 hour care, he can't do anything for himself. Toilets, showers, you know, everything has to be done for him. Lifting, heisting, you know. But we've got to the stage where he's riding horses now on a chair we got from America worth 5,000 from a friend of mine out there. So, he's, you know, it's all, it's all different. It's all new. It's, there's not too many families involved or in our situation, but we're not looking like the victims. We don't feel like we're victims, right? We're just getting on with it now at this stage. And it's just, it's normal for us now, you know. It's just the normal routine. Get up early and getting ready and off we go and <laughs> do it every day.